seven eagle button still yesterday. I'm watching Amy. <laughs> I'm part time detectorist. Uh oh, that's me going yeah, live. I saw it. Everybody turn off right, and go over to, to go over I to. I probably um, have to turn that down. All right, so hey, how are you, Chris? B3 Relic Recovery. I was just watching Amy, part-time detector, uh, detector was on. Now she's just logging off. Everyone's going to be showing up. Hey, SJ, SJ Mixed Adventures, how are you? Hey, Lou D, thanks for stopping by. Going to be giving away some silver in a couple minutes here. I don't even have my uh, chat pulled up or anything. Please bear with me. Hey, Bradley, who's your hillbilly? What's going on, buddy? Garden's looking good. I like it. Phil, off his tee, has subscribed to me. All right, Phil, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I got to check out the Nut Nibblers thing after, too. Nut Nibbler just found this cool ring. Do you guys see his? Out in the woods. Some huge silver Zeus-looking godded ring or something. Get on over to the Nut Nibbler when you get a chance. Check his out. I'm going to be giving away some silver in a minute. I want to do a mail call real quick. Got a package from Jim, Dump Site Digger. Then I'll be giving away, I'll show you that in a second, three uh, half dollars that are 40% silver, 67, 67, and a 68. Alrighty, got three of these, and at the end, I'll give away a silver bar just for ha-has. Alright, so stay tuned, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that was fun, Amy went live, we had a fun time on her chat. Don't know what you guys are going to choose for a word for my drinking game. I'm guessing it's either going to be awesome or sweet, one or the other. Oh, i got to pull up my thing here. Still not paying attention, sorry. Got that down. <laughs> ben says sweet. Hey, Tony, 5280 Adventures, Riser's Treasure Hunting Emporium. How are you tonight? Thanks for stopping by. Going to be giving away a little bit of silver in a minute. Why won't my thing pop up? Oh, that is it. I'm showing Amy's picture, but that's my thing. I'm thinking that there is for her live stream. Oh, there I am. Let me pull up the chat. Then we'll get going. So hope everyone had time. You got about eh, maybe five, ten more minutes I'll give you. Get on over to my last three videos and leave a comment real quick. Make sure you're subscribed. And then you'll be, uh, I'm going to go to random comment picker. And we'll pick some winners. Uh, I think the, these ones here, I'll just pick the first winner. The first name that comes up will pick a winner, but for the silver bar, I'm going to pick five names for that drawing, and uh, oh, I probably should have told you, you better make it my last four videos, because that last fourth one will be on this one here. That'll be for yesterday's video. Uh, leave a comment on that one. So my last four videos, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Hey, Kelly Benz is in the house. How are you doing tonight? Hey, you just saw, you just got some nice... Uh, some nice finds there. So I don't know if you guys follow Kelly. She's on Facebook, too. Uh, she just posted some great pictures of uh, some stuff that she found. Really awesome. Get a chance to get on over to, uh, where did I see it? Was it my channel or Stealth Diggers page? No. Uh, Plugmaster Ford's page? No, was that it? I think that was the one. Kelly, uh, which Facebook page did you post those on, if you don't mind telling everyone? I can't remember. I think it was Plugmaster 4s or Relics Radio. No, like, uh. Hey, Amy's uh, Cyclistivities showed up. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Plugmaster, okay, yeah. Stop over to Facebook page Plugmaster 4s or Plugmaster. And that's where Kelly uh, posted it. All right. I just treasure up in Emporium. Sweet. All right, let's open this mail real quick. Can't stay on too long tonight. I got to work tomorrow. It was 8 o'clock. Thank you, Jim, Dumpsite Digger. You didn't have to send me anything. Uh, but he's really happy that uh, I helped him out and got him over 500 subs. And uh, wanted to send me a little something. He said, I, I can either uh, keep this or do what I want with it, give it away, or add part to my, the giveaway I'm doing for him. Which, if you get a chance, you only got, uh, what's today, Saturday? You got the next Friday, or this coming Friday, the 18th, they got on over to Dumpsite Digger. Uh, make sure you sub to him and leave a comment on his video about the 1832 cap bust one dime. And I'm going to pick a winner Friday live around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, I'll be live at 2 p.m. Probably pick a winner about 2.15, 2.20, somewhere in there. And uh, 
We'll see who's going to win the silver round I put up for him. All right. And I'll see what's in here. Maybe I'll throw one, one of these items in there. Let me open it. Amy, great live stream tonight. Uh, thanks for having one. It's great seeing everybody there. Drew, good to see you. Nice shirt you got going on there. Can't wait to see what my headbands and my wristbands look like. So I don't have to wear a towel. But make sure the sweatband goes over the whole thing so I don't get sunburned, though, if you can. All right, let's see what Jim's... Oh, my God, Jim. What the heck did you send, buddy? Oh, you tape like I do, huh? Holy sweet. All right, let's see what it says here. <clears throat> hey, Mike. Just a little something for you to do what you like with. I appreciate what you did for me, Jim. No problem, Jim. I enjoy having a lot of fun. And, whoa, dude, no. Come on. Whoa. You guys ain't going to believe this. Whoa. All right, this is what I'm going to do. The idea just popped in my head. You guys ready for this? Woohoo! I'm giving away one silver round. But it looks like Jim just sent me... A silver round. It looks like the Morgan Dollar silver round. Or is that a Morgan Dollar? That's a silver. That's that's the uh, silver round with the Morgan. He sent me a 1922 piece dollar, and it looks like the back is a buffalo. I don't know if it's the Indian on the front. I can't see it's taped up. Well, let me uh, cut the tape. Oh, I cut my finger. Not really, only kidding. But I did one time right here when I was in seventh grade. Was one with a knife, seven stitches right there. That's why I was a little nervous, Drew, if you're watching. All right. Oh, my God, it is the Indian. Jim, you didn't have to do this, bud. I just put one up just to get you over 500. Oh man, Jim Dumpsite Digger, you outdid yourself. What I'm gonna do then? Since Jim put this up, I kinda like the Indian. Alright, what we got? The 18th? This is a silver round I put up. I'm gonna put up Jim's silver round too, if we can get him to 600 subs by Friday. I got him over 500. Let me see what he's at now, real quick. Hold on, I'll be right with you. Dump site digger. Dump site digger. I forget how far down you are. Two clicks or three. I think you moved up to the top with your last. Uh... There he is, dump site digger. He is up to 508 subs. All right, last week when we started his. Uh, Promotion, he was at like 467, so he's up to 508 now. Is that like 40 more? Nice job, Jim. All right, bud, hopefully if we can get you up to 600. If you're at 600 by Friday, so please help spread the word, share this video. Uh, do what you can. I'm not only going to give away one ounce of silver, we're going to give away two ounces of silver if Jim can get to 600. Help us out, guys. Do what you can, please. Oh, Jim, that is awesome. And I'll do something with these other two. I'm not sure what yet. But thank you. 1922 Peace Dollar. <clears throat> Another silver round with a buffalo nickel. Thank you, Jim Dumpsite Digger. Appreciate it. Hope you get up to 600. I can give one of these away with uh, with this one. End up being two instead of just one. So hopefully by Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Dumpsite Digger's at 600 subs. See if we can help them out, guys. Alrighty, I think time's up. I think you had enough time to uh, leave a comment on my stuff. Let me pull up a random comment picker. I know I got it on here somewhere. That's not it. There it is. Alright, and we're going to do one of my videos. Let's go to my channel. Sorry guys, I'm not in the chat right now. I missed some stuff. Miss a lot of stuff probably. Mm. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, 
Jim MD Melbourne. Well, oh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Matt. I wrote it down. Matt, treasure hunting SWPA. Is he here? I think he is. If not, I just saw him on uh, Amy's uh, stream. He's at 985. He needs 15 more to get to 1,000. That'd be so cool if we can get him up to 1,000. So if you can, SW treasure hunting SWPA. Hey, there he is, Matt. Yay! That'd be awesome if we can get him up to 1,000, 15 more subs to his channel. Let me uh, finish up with this stuff here this week, uh, Matt, and I'll see where you're at Friday. Hopefully you'll be over 1,000. If not, maybe we'll do a little thing to get you over 1,000. That'd be awesome. You're in a nice spot, too, there. You're digging up some great stuff. I would sub twice if I could. Me, too, Nathan. Dog is my co-pirate. <coughs> wow, Madison, Maine needs 198 to get to 3,000. Awesome, Madison, Maine. Thanks for stopping by, too, by the way. SJ's Adventures, 985. SJ, I thought you were over 1,000. Nathan, thank me, too, you buddy. Yeah, push the button. Hey, Wild Man's Lodge. Rick is in the house. Stay tuned Wednesday on my channel live. I'm going to go live at Rick's house. I'm going to shave his beard because he lost a bet to uh, uh, Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team. Willie, dig it. Uh... Losing the hockey game bet. So Rick's going to shave his beard. And then we're going to raise some money from uh, for a, uh, ALS and uh, Lou Garris disease. Uh, unfortunately, Willie Diggett of Hurricane Alley Rescue Team uh, lost his brother two years ago to the disease. So Rick uh, wants to uh, cut his hair and raise some money for the disease for, for Willie. So I think... Uh, I'm throwing up 20 bucks. Jim MD Melbourne threw in 20 bucks. And then we had two other people donate five on my uh, charity button here on my stream. So if you want to send me uh, a PayPal payment, just send it to uh, MALIMAN24 Comcast.net. All the proceeds I'm going to give to Rick to send to ALS. Rick's going to be uh, not only shaving his beard, but there goes his hair. So stay tuned if you can. And uh, donate. We're going to do this Wednesday, so please, uh, if you can, donate before Wednesday. That would be awesome. <coughs> All right, let me get here, and we'll pick a winner for this first drawing. This is going to be for a 1967 Kennedy Half Dollar, 40% silver. This is also my email address where you can send me your address information if you do win tonight. So write it down, malyman24 at comcast.net. And if you log on to PayPal... Through your PayPal account, if you send money to friends and family, so I don't have to pay any uh, fees, you can send it to malyman at comcast24 at comcast.net. That's my PayPal account as well. All the money uh, that I collect the next from now until uh, or from last Wednesday, uh, Friday till uh, this coming Wednesday, I'll give to Rick for ALS. All right, so let's help out if you can. That'd be great. All right, let me pull up my uh, one of my videos here. Jim is at 508. Hopefully he can be at 600. And hey, look at me. I'm at 773. All right. Uh, this video does not count for comments. So I'm going to go back four. And that's going to be uh, from last Saturday. The four out of five relics for the uh, Stealth Digger Challenge. The Saskatchewan Challenge. First I find a couple shotgun shells. Then I dig a couple spoons. Then I hit a two-bit, a two-piece two horse bit off a bridle. It had two CCRs on the side. So, oh crap, I got three of them now. I, got, I better start recording. So I started filming my stuff. Next target, underneath three roots, I found an oxen shoe. It's like, holy crap, that's all I need now is a button to finish the Saskatchewan Challenge. I did it once so far in two years. Came close four times, but I finally did it last November. Uh, the night after I talked to Mr. Keebler, it was pretty neat. And, uh, or a week after I talked to him or something. And then uh, I almost had it. I looked for three hours, couldn't find a button. Then I go out yesterday, I find four buttons the first hour. <laughs> this, is, this is a funny hobby. I love it. All right, but let's go here. I'm going to pull up this video. Four out of five relic for the challenge. Also, I found a 1940s East Hampton, Connecticut dog license tag. I found one last year, 1937. All right, let me copy this over to the random condom comment picker. 
I want to say condiment like ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Sorry, folks. All right, it's in there. Let's uh, do a search. I got a mount of 39 un unique commenters. All right. I'm going to hit start. Hey, I'll turn it around so just to show you. Make right, sure. Well, I sure you did. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm missing the chat here because I'm on a different screen for my random comment picker. All right, here we are. I got my uh, video in there. Let's go hit start and see who won this. Where's the button? There it is. You ready? Here we go. Who's going to win the first 40% silver half dollar tonight, 1967 Kennedy? It's going to be Uncle Bill Metal Detecting. All right. Nice video, nice spoons. Digging 606 has a good channel. Good luck and happy hunting. Thank you, Uncle Bill. If you can, I might have your address. I don't know. I think I sent you something before. But go ahead and uh, send me your address to uh, M.A. Lyman, 24, Comcast.net. And I'll send you out this 40% silver half dollar there, Uncle Bill. All righty. Cool. Flip it back around here. Please bear with me for this fancy setup here. I've got a plastic Tupperware shock glass holding my phone. That's what I broadcast from. Hey, Mud Swat's in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Cool, Uncle Bill. You won it. All right, let me get up the next one. This is going to be for... Uh, <clears throat> I got a lot of coins from it is me Brian's channel so I'm giving some of them away tonight here two of them anyways I'm keeping the, most of them but uh that first one wasn't wasn't from it is me Brian but this one is it is a 1967 40 percent Kennedy half dollar and I got it I want it from it is me Brian in one of his packs hey b3 relic recovery 5280 Lou D. Let me go back to that. All right, there's the chat. I don't know if Uncle Bill's here. Hey, Coin Intelligence E. He is. He just had his giveaway yesterday. It was awesome. He had a nice 1858 Flying Eagle one cent there that he gave up for. Uh, what do you have? I forget how many subs he had. But it was uh, pretty neat. All right, let me get my next video going. That one was four out of five relics. This is going to be the video I made called Trade or Don't Trade. What do you think? Well, come to find out, me and Ricky aren't going to trade. <laughs> His wife doesn't want him to give up that silver thimble, and I don't blame her. That is one cool relic. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, and uh, so that's not going to happen, but let's see who left a comment on that. Let's see. I see... Uh, I see, I see. It doesn't say, I see. Well, it told me how many views I had. Anyways, you got 86 comments? Really? I think half of them are mine. Let me uh, pull up this one. Copy. We go to YouTube Random Comment Picker. Put in the uh, URL. Whoa, hey, that ain't right. Let's do this one here. Paste. That looks right. Let's do a search. All right, I'll flip you around. 48 unique. Hey, Willie's in the house. Hold on. Oh, I just turned you around anyways. What did I miss? Oh, yeah, he's in the house. All right, this is pretty neat. I don't think you can see this. I can't get it to do it. Anyways, hold on. <coughs> oh, sorry. Please bear with me. There it is. All right, I got the second one in. We got 48 uh, uniques. Uh, let's hit the start button. Let's see who won this second one here. Hey, John Pringle's in the house. Thanks for stopping by, John. Are you kidding me? Uncle Bill's a winner again on this video? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't say we couldn't have two winners. Congrats again there, Uncle Bill. You just won again. His comment was, It's your relic. If you want to trade, I don't see any problem with it. All right. Well, thank you there, Uncle Bill. I appreciate your comment. And by leaving comments on my videos, you too might be a winner someday. Leave a comment, folks. Even on this one, once we get done. 
All right. Thanks, Uncle Bill. He left a, probably a comment on every one of my videos over the last two years. I appreciate your support, Uncle Bill. It means a lot. So, uh, once again, send me your address to the email, malyman24 at comcast.net. This one right here. And I'll mail these two half dollars out to you, 40% silvers. Both are 1967, but you can do something, whatever you want with them. Alrighty. Flip you back around. Let me go back to the live chat. Are we having fun yet, folks? We just gave away two silvers. We got one more half dollar, and then we'll go to the silver bar. Ooh, one troy ounce. Whoa, hey, Madison, Maine. That ain't nice. Let's be nice. Uncle Bill strikes again. <laughs> All right. Let's see who we got. Hey, J3B is in the house. J3B digging Canada. Thanks for stopping by, J3B. Amy's in the house. Kelly Benz. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Kelly. Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team. Sandy Riser. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Hey, weird guy in the living room. Who's that, me? Or is he talking about the squirrel behind me? All right, my Uncle Bill strikes again. He does 5280. Uncle Bill's going to win the next one, too. Let's see. He might. He did leave a comment. Don't blame me. Blame the random comment picker. All right. All right, let's do this last one real quick. 1968, 40% silver half dollar Kennedy. I got this one from It Is Me Brian as well. All right. Let's pick a winner. Let me pull up the video. Uh, let me go back one. That one was for a trade or don't trade. This one's going to be for the video. Oh, you know why? Because people usually don't leave a lot of comments on my um, live streams. So that's why uh, I don't know how many. Let me pull this up. I want to see how many comments are on here just for a ha-ha. 37? Well, probably half of them is mine. I don't know. Unless people just left a whole bunch of comments today. I didn't get a chance to get to them. All right, let's uh, get this URL. This is for the uh, video Silver Giveaway Picked Live, Dump Site Digger Silver Giveaway next. So that was the, my live stream from, must have been Wednesday the 9th, for Tennessee Gems uh, Silver Winner being picked. All right, let me get this loaded into the uh, YouTube Random Comment Picker. <laughs> and we'll see what we can do to pick a winner here. Based. Search. Last time we had 48 unique comments. I'm going to flip you around. And this time we got 22 unique comments. So let me go to here to start. Let's see who's going to win this one. Good luck, Uncle Bill. If he signals, <laughs> says awesome. Hi, Daryl. Coin Collecting Texas is in the house. Who's your hillbilly? Madison, Maine. Giant Garrett Detectorist. Here we go. Is that the MASH song on the last video? It was the MASH song. You are right, Tony. One before that was All in the Family. Oh! So, well, we watched uh, Amy's live stream at the beginning of mine tonight. I should have done another whistle tune. Maybe I'll end the night in one. How's that? Let me think of which one I want to do. Yeah, I gotta remember. Don't want to do the Brady Bunch or nothing. All right, hold on. Let's pick this third one. Get it over with. Here we go. Ready? Wild Man Lodge. Here we go. Who's the winner? It is gonna be... Taking forever. <laughs> Joel Byler. He's a newer subscriber of mine. He says he's liking my channel. Thank you, Joel. I appreciate you liking my channel. Go ahead and send me your address through my email account, malyman24 at comcast.net. And I will ship out this 1968 40% silver Kennedy half dollar to you, sir. Congrats on winning. That was Joel Byler. All right. So let me flip you back around here. Ah! Sorry. I mean, well, I hope you all had a fun weekend. It was weird. Me and Rick were supposed to go out Tuesday, and he got called off to a job. We didn't go out. And we, I met at his, met his house on Wednesday. Neither of us really felt like going out. We just weren't in the mood. So we didn't go out, and uh, I saved my mojo for yesterday. Boy, what a great day. It's just a beautiful day, and I talked to two of the owners, got permission to bring people with me now on uh, all three properties now, so that's, that's good. I only had it on one before, so 
all the, all this year. Now I can bring people, whoever comes up. There's a bed and breakfast right next door. You can stay there overnight. They got a restaurant, and the farm is right next door. So you can, you can walk right over and detect. So I can't wait to get back there with Maxie. That's what I'm calling my detector from now on. I just love her. She's finding stuff unbelievable. So, uh, all right. Let me get to the main event. Bum, bum, bum. What time is it? How long have I been on here? 25 minutes already? Man, time flies. Maxie. That's right, Amy. I named her. I got to get a little red eye or something to put after her name now. I think it was in red. I don't have her in here. She's... All right. Hey, my thoughts go out to Jim M.D. Melbourne. He's not feeling too good. I hope you feel better, Jim. Oh, and Justin the Paste. History Hunter Justin the Paste. Also on Johnny U Adventures. He, I see he had a picture on Facebook last night where his eyes were watering so bad from his allergies. Oh, my God. His face was all swollen up. Water running out of his eyes. Poor guy. Hey, DK. Adventures and Dirt's in the house. Thanks for stopping by, DK. Oh, DK, I forgot to ask you. Did you ever get your... your uh, I think I, or maybe I did ask you, the package from the uh, the last big silver giveaway you won. I don't remember you telling me, if you did, sorry. All right, let me get this uh, pulled up there. All right, whoever left a message on my last video, four buttons, three shanks, two, four buttons, three shanks, and two fancy, and an 1800 sterling ring. And yeah, someone told me it sounded like a Christmas song. I guess it does, really. Anyhow, we'll have to comment on that video, and a subscriber of mine is going to win this pretty soon. Are you ready? Let me uh, pull up the video, copy the URL over. That was a great day yesterday. Couldn't ask for better weather, too. Just a beautiful. Says I got 80 comments on there. That's weird. I wonder. It's weird on the live stream. It won't show me how many views I have. That is so strange. Anyhow, let's go back to YouTube Random Comment Picker. And do a search. It says I got 22. Maybe some people doubled up. Anyhow, on this one, uh oh, where's my book? I have my book. I guess I can use something else. I don't want to use that. I can use this one. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pick five names from this random condom picker. I mean, comment picker, sorry. And, uh, <laughs> hey, are we thinking a drinking game word yet for my uh, taking a shot? Has that started yet? No, no one knows. We're going to pick, oh, no, that's not it. Do, 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 do. So the silver bar here, I'm going to pick uh, five names from the random picker here. Write them down, and I'll have somebody in the chat pick. <laughs> I'll have somebody in the chat pick a winner. Yeah, I know, Tony. It just slipped out again. Shot. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. I don't know for what what that one was for. I gotta go back and look now. Sweet shot. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> this stuff it never ended. Hey, John Pringle. Hi again. Good to see you. Phil is off his, off his trees in the house. He just subscribed. Thank you. It should be laugh out loud. <laughs> that is funny, though. Whoever types it in, they get to take a shot. Mass and Maine. Take a shot every time I say something sarcastic. Hey, 606 is in the house. Hey, k what? If you're in the house, I don't think I ever got your address for winning... Uh, Digging 606 is sticker. So make sure you, you uh, get, get that to me. No, that doesn't sound like a good idea, Matt. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Peach tree pickers in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Looks like Digger, Kentucky. <laughs> All right, anyways, let me get this loaded. I think it is loaded already. Let's go back. Oh, that's not it. This one here. Let me flip you around. We'll pick three names. You ready for this? All right, let's go. All right, we got. This has got 22 comments. We'll see. Anyways, let's get going. 
Pick the first name. We're picking five. Here we go. Who's it going to be? If you see your name, let me know. 5280 Adventures. He left a comment. He's the first one on the list here. 5280 Adventures. Get on over to his channel. And check him out. There's live stream, coin roll hunting, metal detecting. Just about everything. All right, let's pick another winner here. Who's it going to be? Who, me? Yeah, you. You just won. Hey, hey, Tony, congrats. All right, you ready? Let's see who the next one's going to be. Let's go. Who's going to be the name number two on this list for this silver? Whoa, Adventures in New Zealand. Mary News. He just opened up a mail call video for me today. I sent him a couple of uh, silver dimes. I think it was a Rosie and a Merc. I don't know what year's offhand. But he has them in his collection now. He was very happy to receive them. And, what did he find? A ring today? Silver? I forgot what he found. I think it was a ring. I don't know if it was his first or not. But uh, get on over to Adventures and check out his latest video. He got my mail call and uh, did a video on it too at the end. All right, let's see who's going to be number two. You guys ready for that? <coughs> let's go. Pick another winner. Here we go and start. Sorry, I was reading the chat on my phone. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Wendy Salmon. Is that Salmon? Salmon. Wendy, you're on the list of five for a chance to win that silver bar. All right. Let's pick another one. Who's it going to be? Let's see. You guys ready? Smells fishy to you. <laughs> Here we go. Who's going to be number four on the list? B3 Relic Recovery. Chris, congratulations, sir. B3 Relic Recovery. That's all you got to do, guys. Leave comments on my videos. You, you could have a chance to win uh, some silver. Alrighty. That's number four, folks. B3 Relic Recovery. All right, we're going to pick one more. <laughs> Cap shift B shift three, huh? There, Amy. <laughs> I like that one. Capital B pound sign. I've done it many a times. All right, one more, guys. Who's it gonna be? Last one, number five, going to the list. Let's pick it. Tennessee Jam, Jim. Wow. Tennessee Jim, Jim, hey, tennis, uh, Jim, if you win this, you could always uh, put this up for your 500 uh, subscriber giveaway you are talking about today. Oh, he gave me a can call. Ah, oh, I don't have my can handy to call him back or to take his call. I don't know if you saw Jim's video today, Tennessee Jim, or was it yesterday? He was out with the boys again. Let me flip you around. Ah, there we go again. Scaring the crap out of myself. All right, here we go. What's up, Nup Nibbler? What time's that say? Nine o'clock? No, 8.30. All right, we got time here. All right. I'm going to rewrite these names down real quick and assign them numbers. And then we'll have someone pick a winner. I'll flip it around, show you who it is. Hold on. Please bear with me. I guess it don't matter because I'm going to be mixing up the numbers anyways. Yeah, but we'll do it that way. All right. Let me assign some numbers. Amy, are you still in the house? We got this random condom picker here. Uh, get rid of my video. I don't think I need it no more. 
Dun, dun, dun. Let's go back to the live chat and see what's happening. Anything good? What did I miss? Yes, you're here. Amy, part-time detector. Why did I think it was detectorist? Part-time detector. Part-time detector. I'm having coffee, dump site. I hear you there, Charlie. Got a couple sips left. I know it's 9 o'clock. I gotta go to bed soon. I gotta work tomorrow. Me and Ricky are working. And hopefully, he just got permission from his cousins out in Lisbon, Connecticut. They own a huge dairy farm with tons of hay fields and quite a few cornfields. We just got permission to go do the cornfields. So we're going to be heading there tomorrow after work. New location. We'll see what we find. If I find something good, maybe I'll go live. We'll see. All right, let me sign some names real quick. Uh, Blair with me, Amy. Are you right with you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I got some names down. I got some numbers assigned. Amy, you still in the house? I think you said you were. Sexist? What does that mean? Who's sexist? Did I say something bad again? Sorry. Hey, Mississippi Bottle Digs is in the house. You just found this awesome. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Just gave you another shout out earlier. You must have missed it. Just give you another shout out now. I guess you got it. Good to see you here, bud. Wild Man. Seven oh, Wild Man's two areas. It's a 1719 farmhouse farm. Wow, me and Rick are going to a 1719 farm tomorrow early it means that it was probably there back in the late 1600s early 1700s wow it's blowing my mind folks can't believe it now i'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight rick you should have saved that information until i got to work tomorrow Whew. amy you picked a number already three i didn't even tell you to did i okay well amy picked the number three folks so the number one through five amy picked three Amy, just verify. Is that your number three? You got 20 seconds. I know it takes that long to come through. <laughs> I have been in 1,700 farms and some good things, some not so much. Hey, Johnny, you, Riser's Treasure Hunting and Point. No, I was fast. Laugh out loud. Yes. So that is your number. Okay. Amy picked the number three. Let me spin you around. I can just show you. I don't have to spin you around. This is who won it. You guys ready? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, the suspension's killing me. Number four was B3 Relic Recovery. I can't read that number backwards. I don't know what number that is. Two? Tennessee Gem was number two. 5280 Adventures Tony was number five. What number she pick? Oh, Adventures was number one, and number three was Wendy's Salmon. Salmon. Well, Wendy, what you got to do, send me your mailing address to malaman24 at comcast.net. I know it shows it backwards on my camera, but I know you guys can see it right because I can see it on my PC. So, Wendy, send me your address, and I'll get this silver bar sent out to you. Are you ready? Awesome. That was it, folks. Jim, thanks again. I appreciate it for uh, your mail. <coughs> you didn't have to do that, bud. But I do appreciate the uh, the silver you sent. Like I said, hopefully we can get you up to 600 by Friday. And not only will I be giving away this one for Dump Site Digger, I'm going to throw in one of his as well so you get two silver rounds. So head on over to Dump Site Digger. Jim. Get subscribed. Leave a comment on his 1832 Cat Bus One Dime video. Make sure you subscribe to him, and you'll be in for these, uh, for at least this one. If he hits 600 by Friday, it'll be two one ounce silver rounds. All right, get in it. Tell your friends. That'll be awesome. And the rest of the winners tonight, send me your uh, addresses, and I uh, will get these sent out to you. Alrighty, let me write this stuff down. What's my other thing? You right with your folks?
Mm-hmm. I can go back and watch this after two. We keep this short. Been 40 minutes. I'm going to say good night. Everyone have... Hey, Liz Dick and Canucks in the house. Right on Wendy. All right. Hey, Riser. I'm a shot. Oh, what did I say? What's the shot word? I don't know what it is. Full tab? Okay, thanks, DK. I appreciate that. Yeah, there were some beautiful silver ones in there. Congrats again, DK, on that. Uh, what is Mike's shot word? Yeah, what is Mike's shot word? I don't know. Sweet? Sweet. Ah. Is that it? I don't see no shot going up. Sweet. Sweet. That should be double shot. Awesome. Oh, is it awesome? Which one is it? <laughs> Let's make it both. That was fun. Oh, you know what? Do, do, do. I'll have to go back and check that out. Shot. Sweet. All right, what else is going on? Anybody else got something going on? I forgot what I do with my pad. I was supposed to give somebody else another shout out today. Who was it? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Rick Wildman's Lodge. Oh, make sure you tune in to me on Wednesday, the 9th. No, that was I went by already. The 16th. Hopefully, if it ain't raining, me and Rick are going to go on a quick hunk after work. We go back to his house for 6 p.m. I'm going to try and go live at 6 p.m. Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. To shave Rick's beard and to shave his head for CLS. I'm sorry, ALS. CLS is a company I have to deal with. Uh... But yeah, tune in Wednesday night. See that? Rick's going to have no beard. He's going to cut his hair. Whoosh! And he's going to give it to uh, Locks for Love. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Use a dull razor? Ah, hmm, I don't know. I was just going to bang two stones together to hopefully cut it, but we'll see. <laughs> Congrats to Riser for his 1,000 subs. Hopefully, um... Um, uh, treasure hunting SWPA Matt can get to a thousand. He was at 985 earlier today. I'm hoping that he can get up to a thousand. Uh, great channel. Let me see if I can find him real quick and pull him up. He should up here at the top somewhere. Treasure hunting. He's at 988. Awesome, Matt. You only got 12 more to go, bud, to hit a thousand. Hopefully, you got three more of these tonight for me and, uh, See if he can get you some more by, uh, by Friday. All right. If Matt can get up, what else do I have to give away? I don't know what else I have offhand. Only thing I think I have. Sorry, Matt, I don't have anything good. I'll give you the same thing as my logo. It's a 1972 Ike dollar coin. If I can get Matt to 1,000 subs by Friday the 18th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll give this away. I'll pick a name. Whoever watches his last video, Treasure Hunt and SWPA, and leaves a comment on it. Alrighty. Sweet. What did I miss? Mm -hmm. One way off. That would be pretty cool, Matt. If you hit a thousand by Friday, I'd be real happy. To get on over there, subscribe, leave a comment on his last video from today or yesterday. You have a chance to win this Ike dollar coin. All right. Anybody else have any giveaways going on? I can't remember. I know uh, Tennessee Gem's going to be doing one pretty soon for his 500 subs. I don't remember if Dump Site Digger, Jim, Jim, did you say you were having a giveaway too or no? Was I mistaken? I don't remember. I know I'm doing that 501 for you Friday the 18th. We'll pick a winner. And anybody else having any kind of content? Oh, wasn't Liz giving the... Uh, what was she doing? Liz is having a 1500 sub silver giveaway. I forget, I forget what coin it was. I know, I know I saw the video. I just can't think of it right now. Mudswat's going to have a redraw on his giveaway because the winner never claimed it. 
Well, that's cool, Mud Swap. <clears throat> I'll make sure I stay tuned to see that video. B3 Relic Recovery. Chris, is you going to have a 300 sub giveaway soon? Jim Dimpsite Diggers having his very soon. Digging Canuck. A caribou coin. That's right, Liz. That's what it was. A beautiful caribou coin. I saw the video on a mighty caribou. Tough animal. That'd be awesome. I think I'm in that one. All right, Giant Garrett Detectors. Ben's having a 500 sub giveaway for him. That'd be awesome. Jim's going to be at the dump site. Diggers is going to do his after the 18th sometime. Who's your heel, Billy? He's at 250. Not sure what yet, but sitting uh, at 191. Oh, he's going to do one at 250 subs. Cool. Who's your heel, Billy? I swear it comes fast. I did like a 100 sub giveaway. Before that was over, I was doing a 250 sub giveaway. <laughs> That went quick. Hey, Amy, part-time detector. She's going to have a 300 sub giveaway. Awesome. You guys have any idea what you're giving away yet? You can put it up there if you want and tell everyone. Make sure we all stay tuned. Madison Maine's going to have a 300 sub giveaway when he gets there. I think he needs 100 and something more, I think he said. Awesome. All right, some more giveaways coming up, folks. Oh, you know what? I was going to do that, too. I have to wait till they come in the mail. I wasn't going to do it anymore this year, but uh, since I saw three of my YouTube subs in the uh, American Digger magazine, I want to get my new copper rounds in the mail. I'm going to put a few of those up, and we'll pick a winner who was in the last issue of American Digger magazine. So that'd be cool. I did a couple of silver ones at the beginning of the year. I don't have any more silver to give away. So we'll do that. Do, do, we'll do a few copper rounds. Uh, I saw Digging with Deej in there. Uh, quarter Hoarder Jason and Emily Little Dirt Diggers. And uh, Butch Holcomb from American Digger Magazine. He's a publisher. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel or not. Or if he does the American Digger Magazine channel. We'll put him in there too. All four of them. We'll, we'll pick, pick a winner. I'll let, let, let you know when I get those in the mail. Can you do a live call? I can do a live call, Willie. Why, you want to give me a call? Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team? Where's my, uh, oh, hold on, let me move some stuff on my desk. I got to set up my uh, telephone holder. <coughs> my Kleenex box. Call me. Well, it's easier if you, do you have a telephone? I'm going to pop my number up and you can call me. Here it is. You ready? You all ready for this? Here it is, Willie Diggett. Call me at this number, 860-467-3139. I'll put you live on the air right now. You ready? Don't be afraid. 860-467-3139. You'll be on the air with M.A. Lyman 24, live. On my live stream. All right. We'll wait for uh, Hurricane Alley Relic Rescue Team to give me a call, Willie. Just now I started to climb the ladder. Who started to climb a ladder? Hey, Mud Swat. I'm giving away a gold bar at 1 trillion subs. Oh, wow. All right, Madison, Maine. I'll make sure I get in on that one. <laughs> then change the monetization requirements. Again? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm having too much fun doing this. Oh, oh what would be cool well, if YouTube sent me money to pay for my silver giveaways? That'd be awesome. All right, uh, let's wait. I'll put that up there one more time for Willie Diggett, just in case. Give me a call. Or Willie, type in your number. I'll call you. But then everyone's going to see it. But we only got 23 watching, so... 23 watching and 30 thumbs up. I love it. 860-467-3139. <coughs> All right, while we're waiting, I can show you a couple of these things I got. I put that lead pewter button in this little uh, display case. A little shankage there. I also put that parasol top I found two weeks ago. 
I found a full one yesterday with the whole brass piece and everything, but it was squashed. But I found this parasol top with Ricky. I got that in there. I had one more. Oh, there it is. With a fancy button I dug in the cornfields. I'll put that one in there. Yeah, you can't see it, I don't think. Oh, well. What I miss? Lap 606. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure anybody's going to give me a call. Anybody else want to give me a call real quick before I go off the air? You want to talk? You want to say something? Give me a call. 860-467-3139. It's the last chance. Anybody want to call and say hi? Let me know. See you later, Paul. Paul's leaving? Charlie's your granddaughter's name? Oh, that's cool. Oh, Paul's American Woodland Relics. Paul. All right, Paul, we'll see you later, bud. Thanks for stopping by. Send his number to the Jerry Boys. <laughs> oh, the Jerky Boys? Remember them guys? What was that, in the 90s? Jerky Boys make crank calls. Yeah, it was Jerky Boys. <laughs> hey, good night, dump site digger. Matt, laugh out loud. See you, Jim. All right, well, I guess no one's going to give me a call. Say hi. Let me make sure my phone's working. Got dial tone. All right, no one wants to call and say hi and go on the air? Wow, thanks very much. You're welcome, Jim. Thanks, Steve. That stinks, B3. What happened? Oh, sorry to hear that, Chris. Half shaft. What's the half shaft? Winnipeg just scored again. <sighs> and he scores. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, that's the Whalers team. Sorry. You are welcome, Jim Dumpsite Digger. Oh, why so sad, Amy? Oh, you didn't want the Winnipeg to score. Throw that number up again. All right, who's your hillbilly? He wants me to throw the number up again. Oh, never mind, it's ringing now. Let me screen it first, though. Never mind, I know this guy. Ready? Let's put him right on the air. You ready? Hello, you're on the air. How you doing, Willie? I'm doing good. How are you? I am awesome. You guys hear Willie okay? You sound good to me. Hopefully they can sell you, hear you okay. Wildman says, is that a cell number? Of course not, Wildman. I wouldn't give out my cell number. <laughs> no, not a cell number. So what's going on in your mind there, Willie? Um, did uh, Wildman talk to you about, I talked to him earlier today about uh, the donations that was going to come in? Uh, he told me a little bit of stuff from about what's going on where, where we work. Okay. Um, well, this is going out for everybody. If they, if the donations come in and it's over five hundred dollars, I'll shave my beard as well. What? Yep. Wow, you guys hearing this? Out there on the table now. So if everybody gets in with it, but the ALS challenge, you know, it's a, it's a blessing for me because my brother died from it, and I want to make sure it goes into for his his memory. Very good. You can try to find a cure for this nasty disease. Yes, it's one horrible, one one horrible disease that attacks the muscles, but not the brain thing. And uh, yep, it was a, it was a uh, not a good event to go through for anybody. That's um, I never said that's where I'm at with that. There, whenever I was talking to him today, he uh. Let me know what he was doing on his end, and he said, "You said it was not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday." No, uh, he said he wants to do it this coming Wednesday, the 16th, after uh, a small hunt, maybe on uh, something at 6 p.m. at night. 
Uh, we're gonna see what 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 we what we can raise at work. Uh, hopefully, we can get you up to the five hundred dollars so we can see you shave. What we can do go live afterwards or something yep. and shave yours. Yep. Yep. Wow. Same night or. If we, if we get it up there to $500, I will do it the same night. All right, cool. You heard it, folks. After we go live, if we're up to $500 after Ricky shaves his beard and, and hair, if we're at $500, then Willie Diggett will go live, and he will shave his beard as well. <laughs> all right. So I hope all you guys are on board with this. That would be awesome. Good way to raise some money. Uh, if I had longer hair or beard, I'd jump in on the thing, but mine grows back in three days, so it ain't worth it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on the same same boat with that. It doesn't take take long for mine to grow back. But if anybody else out there wants to go ahead and jump on board and shave their beard or their hair for ALS, please uh, feel free to do so. Raise some money. Let us know. We'll, we'll make one big donation to them. How about 5280? Tony, 5280 Adventures. Good call out, Willie Digger. He needs to shave that beard. That's starting to look pretty bad, Tony. And you you have a granddaughter now. She's going to grab onto that thing and rip it out. you got to shave that thing a little shorter, bud. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens with Tony. I don't think he's on here right now, but if he is, uh, or if he does uh, uh, jump on board, that would be cool if he can raise some money in, uh, for ALS and uh, shave his beer as, as well. Yeah, that would be, that would be awesome. I said uh, it must be a, a button week for everybody. I've oh got, uh, I sent you a picture of one of my dandy buttons. Got a lot of fancy on it, and then in the same field, probably 20, 30 feet from it, found another anchor cuff button, naval cuff button with an eagle on it, and a general service eagle eye not far from that. So Awesome. Yeah, Matt uh, from Treasure Hunt and SWPA just pulled up uh, an eagle button with an eye on it. That was awesome. Yes, it uh, must, be, uh, must be this week for buttons. Wild man saying Keebs. What do you mean by Keebs there, a wild man? You want him to shave? Oh. I don't think he, I don't yeah. think Keebs is going to shave. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> oh, so it would be uh, History Hound Ben. He, is, he, he has a long beard, but he don't have any hair on his head, so I'll let him keep his beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a few of them out there that needs a little shaving going yeah. on. True, true. And like I said, anybody who wants to jump on board, feel free. I mean, pass the word around. Uh, you know, it's for a great cause, and hopefully we can help some people. Well, that's for sure. It's, it, is a, it is a good cause. I did the ice bucket challenge a while back, and uh, I think during that time frame, they, they raised, I think it was over a million dollars just in the ice bucket challenge for different sports, uh, sports people doing it. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's funny, Matt. Keeps Keeps would lose ten pounds if he shaved off his, the stuff off his face. He don't, he don't need to lose the weight. I know, I know. He needs that to dig. That's an extra. He, can hide, he hides behind a lot of those trees out there whenever he's hunt, and they're not very big trees. Right. All right. Let's see who, who else can you guys think of who needs a shave besides Tony Fifty Two Eighty Adventures? Who else can we get to shave? Hmm. 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 I can't think of anybody offhand. I nominate Rick, but he's already doing it. I nominate you, but you might do it too if we hit five hundred. Yep. Hmm. Let's see. Who else is out there that does that has it? I'm not sure. Willie, you have a uh, a giveaway coming up too, don't you? Yes, I do. I've got a giveaway that's coming up. I'm gonna do a copper round, the one that I showed. I have a video of it or it was on the live chat the last time I was on, I'm going to do a copper round. I'm going to do one of your stickers. I've got a choice of T-shirts, male or female. The, uh, the males are lime green, or as lemon, as you call it, as you, you wore. Um, and then the female is pink, and it is the V-cut in the front, so it is a female T-shirt. Mm. Well, those are real nice, so they can check them out whenever they... Check out the live chat video uh, the last time I was on. I'm um, also giving away a uh, set of Andre's pencils. Nice. And there might be a few extra getting in there, too. Not sure yet. Might be a couple more coins being thrown in there. Very cool. That would be awesome. 
Yeah. No, and, and congrats for getting over 100 subs. That's, that there's a, a great milestone. Over 100. Nice. So I'll, need to, I'll need to post a video and then everybody can get in on it and make a comment. Sweet. That'd be fun. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't do that no more. No, 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 me either. I never did hey. really. Um, you said MD Melbourne, he was sick, not feeling well? Yeah, he said tonight, uh, I don't know if it was on my stream or Amy's stream uh, earlier, that uh, he wasn't feeling well. I told him, I, I, I hope he didn't uh, catch anything from, from the stickers I sent him. <laughs> no, it's, it's from the lemons. Oh, okay. Too many lemons and the rinds. That's true, too. Yeah, you're uh, sure I'm calling Lyman color. I, I like that, Lemon Lyman. It's a nice color. Reminds me of Mountain Dew or something, you know? Yep. Well, I want to make sure everybody can see the shirts. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, they're a great shirt. I end up, mine, the one you gave me was, was a little bit small for me. I tried it on, but it was way too tight, so I gave it to Rick. Uh, just in case he lost, he would have something to wear when he does the old shaving routine. So, uh... Right. Well, what, what size do you wear? Me? I'm, I'm a 3X kind of guy. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of small. 3X? Okay. Yeah, 3X. Let me, let me see what I can do if I give you one. Oh, awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it. Go go out of your way, though. It's, it's, it's no big deal. Just don't send me a pink one, okay? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, buddy. I know you. Speaking of, speaking of pink, I sent uh, the, the, the uh, Hoover boys. I sent all of them. The lime green one, except for Brad, I sent him a pink one. Did I see a video on that a while ago? I don't. I don't remember seeing. I don't remember seeing them showing those. I I I, 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 I haven't seen them wear it yet. I think I remember, because uh, every once in a while, Kurt would do like a video mail call, like every three months, six months or something. Well, he'll just yeah, sit down and do yeah. packages. I, I think I remember him handing out T-shirts, and Brad's was a pink or a red one. I think I remember seeing I'm that. Go back, I might have to go back and check it out. Wow, that is funny. How long ago did you do that? Um, that was uh, not long after Christmas. Wow, Okay. Maybe it was their end of the year wrap up or one of their Christmas ones they did. That was fun. I'm, I'm gonna have have to give uh, Kurt a, a buzz back and see if see if he wants to uh, come on and do what we did again back in October. That was a lot of fun yeah. having him on. Talk about a crazy chat, man. <laughs> it was so tough to keep up. It was so funny. <laughs> well, I'm trying to I'm trying to get back on your site on a computer and it's not being very friendly, not user friendly right now. Yeah, I'm in a good spot. Luckily, I uh, I I get good reception, and I I usually don't don't lag too much from here. I mean, I, I think I was that night that Kurt was on because I think we had like 280 something people on at one time. Yeah. And it got crazy, but I think that was the only time I really lagged. Hey Ben, we'll see you later. Giant Garrett Detectorist is 2 a.m. over there, and he's off to bed. Get some sleep wow. there, Big Ben. Make sure you set your alarm clock. Oh, wait, you don't probably don't have to go to work tomorrow. I do. All right, give mom cash. All right, 606 is giving mom cash for Mother's Day tomorrow. There I we go. I stopped by tonight, gave my mom a card with some money to get her toes done and uh, a little box of candy. And I stopped at my, my daughter's and gave her a little card and a little box of candy for so she can give it to her mother, too. She was kind of happy about that. So that was neat. Sweet. Sweet. Jot. <laughs> Her a potted plant. All right, 606, potted plant. That's awesome. You doing anything special for Mother's Day tomorrow, Willie? Yep, uh, I'm going with my wife, and uh, we're going to meet the mother-in-law down the road, and we're going to all eat dinner together. Sweet. Is, is this the first time you're meeting her? No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's, I'm surprised she still claims me, though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Sounds well, I'm like I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, she's a she's a sweetheart now. Awesome. Like my wife. They're all sweethearts. Yes, they are. Well, I hope you guys have a good time tomorrow and have fun. We'll try to. Awesome. Let's see what, see what we can do. <coughs> yeah, I hope this thing uh, goes up pretty big uh, for us uh, before Wednesday there, and uh, we get over 500, and we get to see you shave your beard as well. <laughs> well, we 
we shall see. All righty. Then out there for everybody to, you know, jump on board and see if we can get it to, ha get it to happen. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> this seems to be the year for yeah. uh, like uh, raising money and fundraisers and stuff too. So I'm I'm, I'm enjoying doing it. it uh, it's a great feeling to see everybody come together and, and uh, do stuff like this. It's, um, it's a great community. Yeah, it's, it's a good group. We, we have a good group with us here. I'll tell you that. And it's, it's not just in the United States. It's it's worldwide. It is. Well, some some of the best part I, I think is uh well for me anyways I have some. Uh, some people, some channels with, uh, you know, the names in my phone for messaging through Facebook or just text messaging back and forth. But if I'm in a field, I'll take a picture of something I find and I'll text it to, to like, ten people. <laughs> just because I you know, no. especially if I'm by myself and, I, and I, I'm just in the mood to share it with somebody real quick. And uh, it, it, it's, it's fun to do it back and forth. I get, I, I get yours. I get yours every time you, you send it out. Oh, yeah, same here. Me and Rick were in the field the other night. I'm saying, hey, Rick, hold on. He goes, what? I said, Willie Caps is sending me a picture. Of what? I said, I don't know, but it looks like a gold ring. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We, we, we enjoy it, you know. That was, uh, that was something else, and it belonged to one of my big, other bigger partners. I didn't even know it. Yeah, that was awesome, though, to, to see that video and you handing it back to him. That was so cool. Appreciate you yeah, put, he, putting it up there. He said his wife was ecstatic about it. She was happy to see it back at, back at home. Did he surprise her? Did he just wear it home and then just, just kind of show her? Or? He, he wore it home, but he didn't say anything about it. He was going to wait and see how long it took her to notice. And they were they, they, they couldn't hide it very long. That's what he told me. He says he couldn't, he couldn't hold it back. He says his daughter knew about it now because she's seen it on his hand, and they just kept it to himself. And she knew something was up. Wow. That's all. Hey, Sweet Finds when Nick Sweet is in the house. How you doing, Nick? Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you again, bud. Also, Lenny No is in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, great story, though, man. You found it, and, and what did you have it for? A couple weeks before you end up giving it back to him? Yeah, it was about almost two weeks. Yeah, it was almost two weeks when I had it. And it what's wild about that is I went to another place to dig with him, and we got to talking about what I found that weekend and where I went. And then he told me that he lost it a year prior to us because he went there with a, another big buddy that's on the same team. Wow. So it was yeah. gone for a whole year, and then you find it and give it back to him. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just, I guess it was meant to be for me to find for him. Yeah, it's weird how things work out that way. Yeah, Amy, part-time detector. Australia is uh, 16 hours ahead of us. Uh, or is it 14 hours now? It changes throughout the year. Either 14 at one time, then they switch to 16 hours ahead of us. Or is it 16 and 18? I don't remember. But yeah, that's why Mel, uh, MD Melbourne said uh, Happy Mother's Day. This, right now it's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning there, Mother's Day. Or noontime, so he's probably out to lunch with his mom. Alrighty, uh, who else just came in the house here? Pawns Brown just showed up. Thanks for stopping by. Nathan Dog is my co pirates here. Madison, Maine, who's your hillbilly? B3 Relic. And Willie, I appreciate. Yeah, um, I can see. Dog is my co pirate. He does have a beard. He does have a beard. Yeah, he does. He has beard. Oh, yeah. Nathan does have a beard. Hmm. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Nathan's a big fella. That's funny. I can hear hear my voice on your on your stream. <laughs> I had to I had to get muted down a little bit. <laughs> Too funny. All right. Um, what else did I want to say? I forget now. Just, just got it on there. It just it just finally popped back up. It's working now. Awesome. Dog is my co pirate. Yeah. He's, uh, he found that uh, nice uh, item uh, that's still on my bucket list. Yeah. I can't believe he found it out there. That was that was weird, huh? The only thing I can think of, it, it, I don't think it had to do with Civil War. I think it must have had to do with uh, possibly whenever the West was being one Indian. Uh huh. So, like prior to that. So. But you just 
never know where those things are going to show up. Yeah. I wasn't sure if someone was in the war and then moved out to Montana area and then lost it afterwards or, or what happened, you know? That's, yeah, that's possible. Wow. Yeah, that's possible. Crazy. All right, um, what else I have going on? I think that was it. Just Willie staying. Uh, his giveaway for his 100 subs, and then uh, next week for uh, raising money for ALS, Lou Garris disease, folks. We're trying to raise up some money. Rick's going to be cutting his hair on Wednesday live on my stream, and if we get up to $500 before then, Willie Diggett's going to go live afterwards and shave his beard as well. Yeah, that's right. So hopefully we can get there, folks. Let's see what we can do. All right, folks, I'm going to tune out here. Been on for over an hour. Trim, trim, his, trim his hair with a uh, chainsaw. Oh, Rick's? Yeah, I'm not touching it. His wife's going to be doing all the trimming and cutting. I'm just going to be filming from my phone. And there might be uh, another guy there filming as well for, for Rick's uh, Wild Man's Lodge uh, channel there. So we'll, cool. we'll, Good. We'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah. I'm not going to be able to uh, I'll have to check out how I can do uh, check and see maybe i'll check beforehand so hopefully if we, if we can raise it before 5 p.m i'll know before we go live uh if we're over 500 or not all right i'll just make sure i have my my stuff ready and my wife's gonna shave my beard awesome well my 20 dollars is in already i hope everyone else can throw a little bit in to help out and that'd be great willie i appreciate you calling saying hi to everyone and spreading the word all right i appreciate it mike all right we'll talk Good to you soon We'll talk to you soon, bud. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. You too. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. right, Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I appreciate that. Had a quick, fun silver giveaway. Make sure everyone sends me their addresses. I'll get the items in the mail to you next Friday. All right. Have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Get out there and find something good. Later. Take a shot. Sweet. Later.